right, and now we have some questions from the Wrestling Figs forum members. So let's just get going on. Uh, what were Randy Savage and Ultimate Warrior like to work with in person? Uh, it's it's pretty surreal that I was able to actually meet both of those people. We uh, we I remember going down almost five years ago now, going down to Florida and take the the Macho Man. Um, video that we showed at Comic-Con later that year announcing that we had the rights to make a Macho Man figure and then we, we had the Defining Moments Macho Man figure for him to present and that was that was surreal. Um, both of them, I, I enjoyed working with both of them. It's, it's kind of a shame that you know, I, I can't personally interact with them at the morning at this time. Of, you know. But um, yeah, I mean as someone who grew up watching wrestling since right just before WrestleMania 2 to actually like meet, meet them and be able to like show them stuff that they were really happy with and um, I just appreciated you know the the quality of the figure that I was able to make you know based off of what they did in the past was really cool. So as a designer it's got to be one of the best honors it's, you have, really. Yeah it's really uh, flattering and, and fulfilling when you show someone a figure you've made of them and they, and they like it as much as you know I, I enjoyed making it. So. Who has been your favorite wrestler to work with I guess let's say besides Savage and Warrior? Jeez. Um, I honestly don't know. I'll have to get back to you on that one. I'll, I'll, I'll post a message on the board later. I have to think about this one. Okay, it's, fair enough. <laughs> I will post in the thread later and, and update you with an, with an answer on that one. Uh, what's the favorite figure you've made and why? Uh, the Defining Moments Macho Man. Just because the whole story behind it and just being able to make a Macho Man figure after so many years of other companies not being able to just know it's like some days I'll just sit in my keyboard like I'm designing a Macho Man figure like how oh, cool is this so I want to make sure it came out well and I think everyone everyone was happy with it he was happy with it I was happy with it the people that bought it were happy with it so that was yeah I don't think it'll ever get better than that so we even got to make the corresponding Ultimate Warrior from the same match yeah and, yeah and that's that that's my favorite match of both there's I mean, just to be able to like memorialize that match in its entirety is pretty pretty cool. Uh, is Bubba Ray Dudley a possible future flashback? It's possible, but I don't have the rights right now. I think that was a one-shot appearance. Uh, that's one of those where, you know, if we get it, we'll if we get the rights to, to do it, we'll go in the line. If the NXT basics do well, will we get some NXT elites? Uh, it's possible. I know there's two that I really want to do. One is very obvious. One. Maybe not as much, but uh, yeah, there's two that I definitely want to do. So now we have uh, Sami Zayn, we have Adrian Neville, Tyler Breeze. Yeah. Uh, if these do well, are we going to keep pumping out more? I plan on making, there's there's a lot of good talent in NXT that, that are figure worthy, so to speak. And yeah, there, there's more coming. Uh, can we get a flashback legend killer Randy Orton? It's possible. There's no reason not to do it. Um, uh, uh, there's not one planned right now with this, not to say there couldn't be one down the line. Uh, let's see, why do so many figures use the big knee pads instead of the Orton ones? Is that like the, the longer? Yeah, Just because they're, they're closer in size to what they actually wear in the ring. Um, I've heard that, uh, you know, that they're, 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 they're harder to pose than like the smaller knee pad, but for me it's always, I want to be as close as possible in terms of accuracy to what they actually wear. So when Bad News Barrett wears longer knee pads, I want to include longer knee pads on the figures to match that accuracy. Uh, any NXT divas in the works? Charlotte Bailey? Um, I know one is definite, and then another is in pencil right now. Okay. Uh, what pretty cool name did you recently learn that you can make a figure with? I can't tell you that now. <laughs> Give it away. Uh, any chance of I already might have given away too much. Any chance of an elite Roddy Roddy Piper? Um, yeah, I, I don't see why not. Uh, right now, it's not in penciled in anywhere. But um, I know we just came out in a Walmart shirt wave, so that probably means I want to space it out a little more when I would want to put out another Piper. But uh, there's no reason not to do it. Maybe the old uh, half divide black white one. We won't be doing that. Nah. Too gimmicky. A little, yeah, a little weird. Yeah. Uh, is there an updated Elite Dolph Ziggler plan? Um, there is a lineup. There is an Elite lineup with a Dolph Ziggler. So. 
Uh, Rey Mysterio, no yes. longer with WWE, since he's no longer there, have we seen our last Rey Mysterio for the foreseeable future? Unfortunately, yes. Uh, I love George Rey Mysterio. I don't know why people would seem to be happy about not being able to get Rey Mysterio figures anymore. The guy was great. He provided a lot of awesome costumes to uh, to make into action figures. He translated into to really cool looking action figures. So it's really not something to celebrate that we can't make Rey Mysterio anymore. So. I think if collectors you, wanted the spots maybe for some other people. Cause they had some but the thing is, is if we didn't use Rey Mysterio in that slot, it wouldn't be going to an obscure 1970s wrestler that we that we're never getting cheated a figure out. It would have gone to another top level performer. And if one of the things about Ray is that he changed his costume so much that it was like we could do we, we could do Ray, but we could do a completely different Ray than the one we put out three months ago. So yeah, I don't think yeah, it's not it's not something to celebrate that we can't do Ray Mysterio anymore. If you're happy that we can't do Ray Mysterio anymore, that's you're kind of missing the point. Uh, Tyson Kids just won the tag team championship. Yeah. Um, I mean, Tyson's in the future. Elites, basics. Yeah, he's back in. He's back in lineups. Okay. Upcoming, eventually. Uh, Rhino and Brian Kendrick are now in NXT. Yeah. Uh, possibility of those? They're not under merchandise deals yet. Okay. So wait and see, guys. Uh, uh, British Bulldog, Mr. Perfect Legends, for those who kind of maybe started collecting later and they missed the whole Mr. Legends line. Maybe Bulldog and the old uh, capes and dreads. SummerSlam 92-ish. Yeah, it's, there's a pretty good possibility on both of those. I don't exactly know where, but they're, they're both, I, I know that there's demand for those. So Especially like the Bulldog with the braids, I know a lot of people want those. So. Uh, what about managers? Jimmy Hart, Bobby Keenan, Paul Bearer? Yeah, I'm working at ways to get those out because I know the, the Paul Bearer build a figure sort of didn't launch as it was supposed to and it kind of changed plans on other things. So, yeah, we're working at ways to get out the managers. Okay. Yeah, a lot of people asking about the build a figure thing. It's not a Mattel issue, it's just a No, it's just a it's issue, distribution and then it's. Um, we're working on ways to, 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 to get. You know, guys in suits out because we know there is a market for for the bigger names like J and J. That's good. J and J security. <laughs> That's hey, they they're low decks. So yeah. uh, and if uh, the build figure line will it still continue? Uh, as far as I know, I, I am working on other build figure lines, but it's it's I'm not sure exactly what's going on because of the distribution. I can't say you know. Fair enough. A lot about it. Uh, what about X Pac? Maybe one, two, three, kid. Uh, an X Factor kind of different X Pac out in the future. Yeah, I'd probably go to one, two, three, kid before I did another X Pac, just because I think it's a more, it'd be more interesting to do an, a different gimmick than another paint version of X Pac. But yeah, the fact that we have that, that you know, Sean Walton or contract means we can do more iterations of them down the road, and I want to do it. So. I tell you, for us, for Ringside, he's been very popular. That's good. Uh, that's good news. Good to know. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, will we see any any more legendary women such as Sherry Martel, Willie Rashawn? I guess they'd have to be signed. Yeah, they'd have to be signed. Uh, going on that line, what about Lita? I do have the rights to Lita. Um, I'm in preliminary work on a Lita figure right now. So at some point there will be a Lita. I don't know when. But uh, yeah. when you work on stuff, you work on it pretty far in the future. People yeah. don't realize how far in the future you're working. Like yeah. basic 50 is just coming out. But you're probably work, working on what basic 56, 57. It's, it's I'm working pretty far down the road actually. Yeah. So it's um yeah. I mean, I work on lead. I want to get it right. So it's making sure that I you know the first one that comes out is is really good. So there's yeah. It's I mean, Lita is coming. Any chance about uh, Giant Gonzalez? It's a lot of plastic. <laughs> it's, um, we tried to, I think I might have actually told this story before, we, we tried to sign his rights and we got a hold with someone we thought might be his agent in Argentina at the time, but we could never verify that he was actually his agent, so we never signed a deal with him. Mm, and then subsequently he passed away, so it's, it might be more difficult now. I'd love to do one. Um, but now it's, I think if WWE signs him to a deal, if I find out that they, you know, have a deal to have him, you know, for merchandise, it's like, I'm definitely making a Jenny Gonzalez for you guys. Think it's, it's all fur patches, WrestleMania. Yeah, I mean, the, that's, that's, that's there. yeah, I mean, that's from an action that. figure perspective, that's, that's A plus right there. I don't think we need an El Gigante from WCW. Oh, that's where you're wrong. Oh. That's, 
yeah, that, that's another one that's like we should at some point. If we get the rights to do, we'll do both. Okay, little hook no, of Thunder no, Paradise. It's <laughs> kind of like the first one we had, like the the the, the, the tinfoil crown, oh, and the, the shoulder yeah. pads. Yeah. Uh, play sets. Uh, yes. Will we get any more play sets this year? This year, let me like performance center came out. I know we have the entrance stage play set coming out later in the year that you can actually play um, entrance um, clips with the your iPod computer. hooks up. To yeah, the iPad. I'm pretty sure that's coming out this summer. <laughs> yeah, so that's I think that's our big play set push for the year. Uh, belts. People want to see more belts, especially like the tag belts. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, I mean possibly more like classic tag team or the uh, raw tag team, SmackDown tag team. They only came with uh, Big Show and Elite Ten, I believe. Uh, it's possible down the road. It's just figuring out like who to put those guys, who to, who to put those with, and um... okay. Uh, what would you say are the top three requested flashback figures that Mattel is currently unable to produce for one reason or another? Owen Hart's got to be one. Yeah, I kind of know the answer to that question. Yeah, you know what you, you know what we want, what we can't have. Uh, let's see. What about too cool? Yeah, I know. I don't have the rights. Uh, I do them if I have the rights, but I don't have it. Okay, Scotty Hattie with the hat that'll come up. Yeah, the, the problem is, I think accessory. every time I make a, a figure of someone that Jax did, I, I try to make um, a better version because I figure you, a lot of people already have them. And those Jax two cool figures are like two of the best figures they've ever done. That's gonna be really, it's gonna be almost impossible to top them. I mean, I, I, I still have those in a very prominent, you know. They're, they're awesome, so that's going to be a tough one to... Yeah, to... What about uh, Goldberg? Everybody always wants a Goldberg, WCW, WWE versions. He's high on my want list. Yeah. Um, any more elite Ric Flairs? Obviously, we've got the answer there, Obviously. coming in the four pack. Yes. Uh, so there, you got your uh, nice flare hair. Yeah, no, there's, there's more flare common. If you have a favorite flare, yeah. color, trunk, and or hair combination, it's at some point it'll be... We'll, we'll probably do it somewhere down the line. Uh, defining moments. Can yes. you tell us who's after Sting? No. No. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, Is it Warrior? Uh, uh, defining moments. How yes. have they been selling and are they going to continue? Well, they've been selling fantastically. The, the Hogan one has been just blown out of stores. The Flair did very well. Also did very well. Um, as of right now, I'm planning on continuing. I'm developing more for 2016, so... So that's, the guy, that's the answer you guys want to hear, so good news. So thanks for buying them. Uh, let's see. Uh, are there going to be any new figure belts that haven't been done? We just did the Cruiserweight title with Rey Mysterio yeah. in 32. I don't know off the top of my head. I don't think there's any currently in development right now, but that doesn't mean that uh, there won't be down the road. Just nothing I'm working on right now has a new belt style in it. So. Okay. Uh, Bret Hart leads. Ever a WCW possibility? Tires maybe a little different, not that much. It's possible, yeah. I, uh, there's no reason not to. Um, you know, next time I do an elite uh, Bret Hart, that'd probably be something to consider. Okay. Uh, Cesaro. How come Cesaro keeps getting tiny arms when he's one of the strongest superstars on the road? Somebody thinks they're getting tiny arms out of Cesaro. Uh, it's, it's, uh, I don't know, I might have overlooked it, so when we do another Cesaro, it's something we can revisit. He is a strong dude, so maybe strong arms might be, might be in the works. Okay. Uh, Ascension, any possibility later this year? Um, if they stay on TV, I guess? It's possible. I'm not sure. I mean, they're definitely in the works, because anyone, anyone that's uh, new on TV man. makes it, you know, it gets worked on. <laughs> the colorful got some paint. Some yeah, it, it's, yeah, I mean... Obviously a battle pack, it would have to be. Yeah, I mean, their, vis their, their visual presentation lends itself to action figures. So, of course, when, you know, when they were on Raw, it's like, okay, yeah, I'm going to make this action figure. What are the odds of getting more 80s tag teams like Rock and Roll Express, Midnight Express, Freebirds, Little Michael P.S. Hayes? Uh, it's possible. I'm not sure. I don't think I'm working on them right now in terms of any of those teams. But it's, it's I mean, nothing's out of the question. Yeah. Maybe you got the four pack and the four horsemen. Yeah, like it's if, something like, same era. if something like this happens, you know, really, you know, picks off, 
you know, we could, you know, do more stuff like that where, where we can include tag teams in. You could have Rock and Roll and Midnight in the same pack, possibly. It's possible. Or the Freebirds, it's a free pack. And I don't know, it's Jimmy Jam Garvin and <laughs> the unofficial fourth Freebird. Uh, let's see. Are we close to ever getting a Warlord or Barbarian in singles or our powers of pain tag team? I know he's on my want list. Um, I'm waiting to hear back from WWE on uh, if some of those have been. Um, I have the rights. I really, really want to do a Warlord with the half mask, with the Phantom of the Opera half mask, and the shoulder pads, and the W1. That's another thing. It's like that lends itself to being an action figure so well, but it's something I really want to do. Actually, there's another manager there, but that uh, Fuji, because he managed the. Uh, yeah. It's another manager possibility. All right, that's all the questions we have here for you today, Bill. Um, thank you for talking to us. No problem.